This episode is brought to you by Dashlane. Try Dashlane Premium free for 30 days at dashlane.com slash infographics. And never forget another password and keep all your online accounts secure. If you've seen our shows on the dark web, you'll know some of the things you can find there. We've talked before about illegal activities happening there, but there's much more to this place. You might find whistleblowers in the dark web, perhaps fearful of their identity being uncovered. Human rights journalists might also publish here, with an understanding that their work can't be traced back to them. Critics of oppressive governments might air their concerns there, while others just want absolute privacy when talking to people about their health. Welcome to this episode of The Infographics Show – How to Access the Dark Web First, let's give you a 101 on the dark web. Sources differ on how much of the internet can be seen using a standard browser. In the story, NPR told us that 96% of the internet is not available through normal browsers. Call it the iceberg theory, which means the internet we see is just the tip. Other resources tell us it's more like 90%, which is still huge. So what exactly are we not seeing? First of all, we should understand the difference between the deep web and darknet sites. The deep web might not be quite as degenerate as the dark web. The deep web is simply part of the web that can't be accessed through conventional browsers. One expert tells us despite many representations of a nefarious underground operating out of sight, the deep web is mostly benign private databases and web resources not meant to be accessed by the general public. Lots of data online isn't available to our prying eyes. Companies or banks have private databases or some websites might not want to be indexed. They want to remain unsearchable. It's not really that surprising that most of the information flowing around the internet is protected. But then we have the dark web, and that's a totally different thing. This is a place where one wants absolute anonymity. Not to say people don't get found, they do. As we said, you might find political dissidents working there. In some countries, you could still lose your freedom or life for criticizing a leader or ruler. How does it work? How do people get this anonymity they require? Well, the darknet both incorporates encryption and also uses special privacy browsers. The best known is Tor, which is sometimes called the Onion Router. It's a free software that directs traffic through a massive network, consisting of thousands of relays. These servers are run by volunteers. Here's an explanation by the Tor project. Tor's users employ this network by connecting through a series of virtual tunnels rather than making a direct connection thus allowing both organizations and individuals to share information over public networks without compromising their privacy. We're told that the Tor network was created by the US Navy and is still partly funded by the US government. People can publish websites that can't be tracked. Tor tells us that while many people might think chat rooms are just full of rather strange people talking about eating each other or making a poodle burger, many people go to hidden chat rooms to discuss privately how they survived abuse, or perhaps talk about an illness they have that they're afraid could be found out in chat rooms outside of private browsing. This is a good thing, of course, because why shouldn't people at times have a bit of privacy? You might remember probably the most infamous site, the Silk Road, a marketplace where you could buy many things that you won't be seeing sold in the local shopping mall. But some of these items were just regular things. More recently, Alpha Bay and Hansa were also closed, but these sites were run as hidden services or onion services on the Tor network. But this show isn't about what we find on the dark web. It's more of a how-to show to tell you how to access the dark web. It actually isn't hard at all. So first, get yourself a virtual private network or VPN if you're intending to get on the dark web. This is easy. Just Google VPNs. Even our sponsor Dashlane has a VPN. Some are free, some of them cost a small amount of money. You don't need a VPN, but if you want to get extra secure, get one. Even if Tor was compromised and you were visiting the darknet sites because you had a VPN, it's very unlikely you could be traced. Ok, so you have your VPN and you're ready to access the Tor browser. To do this, just go to Tor and download it. Couldn't be easier. Only download from the Tor site. If you Google the words download Tor browser, you should see the top result as the Tor project. Just wait and then install the browser on your machine. Next, you'll have the option to start the Tor browser. This you will do, and you will have access to .onion websites. If you want to visit marketplaces, simply find a darknet market list. You might also go to the popular databases, the Onion directory and the hidden wiki. These will tell you how to access most things in the dark web. Note, some people say it's best to not change the window size while in the Tor, as authorities can track you easier if you do. Others say also turn off JavaScript. Some others say that you should put tape over your webcam, because you just never know. Hey, Mark Zuckerberg does it. Disable your mic too. 
basically shut down all apps that are on your computer. It should go without saying that you don't use your real name and try not to send anyone a photo of yourself. You should also use an anonymous email account. When you're done with your session, just shut your computer down. Voila! You've been in the dark net, and you've done it the safest way. The dark web can be a pretty scary place, but for most people, they really just want to look for themselves for one reason, to see if their personal information is being bought and sold on digital marketplaces. You could try to access the dark web yourself, but there's an easier way. Dashlane offers a free dark web scan that will automatically find out if your information is up for sale and what exactly that information is, from your driver's license to social security number or even telephone number. And by signing up with Dashlane, you can help secure your internet experience by using their VPN to browse quickly and safely. Head on over to dashlane.com slash infographics for a free 30-day trial. And if you use the coupon code infographics, you can get 10% off a premium subscription today. How many of you have accessed the dark web? What were you looking for and what did you find? Did you have any dark web tips for us? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, The Rise and Fall of the Dark Web Silk Road. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.